Our coverage of the coronavirus pandemic continues now with a live interview with the mayor of Dania Beach, Lori Llewellyn. Uh, mayor, thank you so much for joining us this evening. You declared a state of emergency back on March 12th, and then we saw certain restrictions being put in place. Talk about what those restrictions were, how they're working, and how you're enforcing them. Sure. Uh, well, we uh, have had several orders that have been passed since then. Uh, we did an order uh, with regard to essential services where we were closing businesses that were non essential. Uh, we also, today, I actually signed an order with regard to masks and, and people wearing facial coverings. Um, you know, we've had a number of different orders that have come up, um, similar to orders that have been in other cities and counties, as well as the, the orders that the governor uh, has now instituted. Um, but we were trying to be ahead of the game. We didn't want to wait for anybody. We wanted to make sure that our residents and our visitors and employees here were all being safe. Uh, we, we did a stay at home order for our, uh, our employees in the city and we actually shut down City Hall uh, fairly early on as well. We have a telework policy in place. So a number of our employees have been working from home since very early on in this situation. Mayor, the uh, casino there in Dania Beach, a very popular destination uh, for uh, concerts and, of course, you know, people go there to enjoy the casino. It employs a lot of people. Uh, what, is the city doing anything to help out all those people who found themselves, uh, found themselves without employment right now? Well, you know, it's kind of tough because there's a lot of people out of work. And as you know, we have there's, there's millions of people across the country that are out of work and we have our own state system for unemployment. Uh, we are trying to provide resources to people, let them know about the different resources that are available, the different websites they can go to. We are um, also, in, in our city itself, for our employees, we are actually paying all of our employees still, uh, whether they're able to work or not. Um, and we're one of the few cities uh, that actually is paying hazard pay to those employees who are actually out in the public on a regular basis, uh, people that are in code enforcement and that sort of thing. So we're, we're trying to do what we can um, it's, it, within our own jurisdiction, but it, it, it can be difficult at times. We're trying to do what, you know, what we can to try to help those individuals. We also did early sure. on uh, make sure that we're not shutting off anybody's water for their utilities. Uh, that's something that you know, people would have to worry about and it's something we do have control over. So we're trying to make sure we don't, that we don't put an extra burden on people. And Mayor Llewellyn, the city has posted scam alerts on various social media platforms trying to warn people. How great is your concern about these scammers and is there anything you're seeing unique to your community? Well, we're, we're getting the same scams that everybody's getting. Uh, but I will say that we, we do have a concern because we have a lot of very active seniors in our community who they have different senior organizations that they go to that they're not able to go to now. We also have a number of civic associations that are very active and, and people aren't able to go to those. And in those meetings, that's usually when people are hearing about those uh, different scams that are going on. Um, and our VSO team is very good about alerting people about those. So in, in an effort to try to make sure that they're still getting this information, we have our scam alerts on our social media page. We also do a code red where people are receiving phone calls and texts to let them know about different things that are going on and just trying to make sure the communication is out there. I'm very big on communication. I think that the more communication we have to the public, the better off we are. Mayor Lori so Llewellyn important. of uh, Daniel Mayor Beach. Lori Llewellyn. Thank you very much Thank for you joining very much, us. Mayor. Thank you for having me and you both be safe as well.